welcome back to the channel. So um, we've had our solar installation now for um, over a month and we are now in October and it's an absolutely hideous day. We're not getting much solar generation today. But in this video I'm going to look back at the month of September and look at how much uh, power we generated, how much we used, how much we exported back to the grid and importantly how much we saved and also how much we spent. So before we get to that, I'm just going to give you a um, brief preview of what's going to come up on the channel over the next month. So on Wednesdays, I'm going to continue releasing maths videos. So on the 5th of October, which will be two days ago when you're watching this, um, I have finished my mini series on quadratic equations. Fridays, we're going to keep um, doing stuff about solar panels and solar energy and my journey with this. Um, so I'm going to be, also, um, I've recently released a video uh, talking about what to consider while um, doing, uh, while thinking about payback periods. Um, so next Friday I'm going to release a video where I actually calculate my own payback period or what I think my payback period will be. I'm also going to start a new series of videos which I'll be releasing on Mondays which will look at the science behind solar panels and battery energies, uh, battery and all this sort of stuff. So the first uh, video will be released um, on Monday which I think is the 10th and that's going to look at what a watt is and what a watt hour is and what all these units are that um, keep getting bandied around when talking about uh, solar energy. So. With that covered, let's look at what's happened um, over the month of September. So I am going to be looking off to the side because I've got my spreadsheet here, which I'll be looking at. So let's first of all start off with this graph. So this is our total solar power or solar energy generation through September, uh, split down by day. So over September, we generated 427.9 uh, kilowatt hours of uh, electricity or energy and as you can see from the graph it's a little bit all over the place um, it's we had some days where we were up above 25 kilowatt hours of generation and then if you look at the very last day we were down at about two kilowatt hours so it's a very variable month so i'm not going to try and average all these va values out and give you sort of an average value because i think it'll be a bit meaningless just because of the variance um, what I can do, is, and I can't really compare it back to August, because in August we only had um, the installation in for a week before August finished. But in August, in that last week, uh, eight days, or last week, uh, seven days, seven to eight days, we generated uh, 143 kilowatt hours, which if we extrapolate that up, so basically multiplied by four, um, we'd be talking about uh, 550 uh, kilowatt hours so you can see that September had less solar generation than August from that prediction which is what you expect the days are starting to draw in uh, the weather is not quite as sunny and as good so we can see that we're getting a bit of a little bit of a tail off so how did uh, we use that energy over the uh, month of September so this is what this graph shows so um, I did have a comment f um, from somebody on my previous video where I looked about uh, back at my usage of solar power. So this was the video I released at the beginning of September, looking back at August, uh, saying about the term self-use. I've still got it on this graph, so apologies that I haven't changed it. But it's largely because I haven't thought of a better way of um, expressing it yet. So just to go through what we've got here, we have um, export in blue. So this is how much we've exported back to the grid. We still haven't quite set up our seg payment yet. I'm trying to chase that up at the moment. We're going with so energy on that. And there will be a video about how you apply for seg tariffs. So you can see that most days we're exporting a fair chunk back to the grid. The red is our import. So this is calculated from using our smart meter and seeing how much we're spending each day on import and electricity. So you can see that for most days, the import is incredibly low. It's um, a few tenths of kilowatt hours, except for the very last day. And I'll come to that later. Yellow is the battery discharge. So the battery is normally discharging off the solar and then discharging when there isn't enough solar to power the house. Uh, so through the night, for example, or when we're using um, sort of appliances which are using more power than the roof will generate. I probably should say that um, 
remember we have got a 4.68 kilowatt hour, uh, kilowatt system on the roof um, so that's our solar panels going into a solace 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter which is also stored into a 5 kilowatt hour pure drive battery and there's a video which i'll link just up here um, explaining my setup and um then we've got this idea of self-use. So this is power that we're generating from the roof and we're using at the same time. So if um, there's sufficient power from the roof to uh, power the, whatever we are using, say the oven, that goes into the self-use. So you can see that our self-use uh, is actually quite small compared to our generation. So most of the times we are still using power that's saved in the battery. Um, so we still need to make some lifestyle changes to basically maximize that and not discharge the battery as much. Um, but we are uh, generating a lot from the battery and as you see, we haven't got that much input from the grid. So uh, what happened on the final day? Um, my partner's parents are coming to visit. We had a fry up in the morning and instead of co cooking it in the frying pan, I decided to cook it in the um, grill. We didn't have any sun, it was a rainy day, so we weren't getting any power off the roof, which meant we didn't really charge a battery. So we ended up discharging the battery and then having to import a lot of power that day through the whole um, through the whole day. And uh, that's why we used um, had such a uh, large amount of import on that day. day. Um, to put things into perspective, um, throughout the month of September, we use 189 kilowatt hours of electricity, of which um, 177 was uh, generated ourselves, so generated from the roof and used, or generated and stored and then used, um, which meant then we exported um, quite a lot back to the grid. And I can't actually see how much we exported back to the grid, but doing the maths quickly in my head, that must be about 250 kilowatt hours was exported back to the grid. So the big question is, how much is that cost and how much did that save? So we had a total saving and bear in mind our rate for importing kilowatt, um, a kilowatt hour is just over 19p. So that's how much we're saving for each kilowatt hour that we generate ourselves and use. Um, so that gave us a monthly uh, a month saving of thirty four pounds seventy. We imported from the grid um, eleven point seven four kilowatts, which came to a sum total of two pounds thirty. And actually, most of that, over a pound of it, um, certainly was just in the last day when we had to use five kilowatts hours um, purely from the grid. So up and for the other 29 days, we'd only used £1.30. So that's a good saving. So now we can also look back at getting the savings that we've had since we've had the ins uh, insulation, which was back on the 24th of August. So between the 24th of August and the 1st of October, we have saved a total of 40... Uh, no, not £48. What is it? It is... Forty-three pounds and fifteen pence, and we spent a sum total of two pounds seventy-two on grid import. And again, I should stress that is also uh, not including our standing charge, which we don't have any control over. So uh, that sort of gives an idea. If we um, sort of divide the amount we are saving per day, we're about saving about one pound twenty a day at the moment on electricity which is what we expect we spend we are users of about six kilowatt hours a day at that 19 roughly p is about one pound 20. so we're in line with that which means that over a year we're in course uh, to save about 450 pounds on electricity and then hopefully we'll get about 150 pounds of seg as well making our payback per year at about 600 pounds um, one thing we have got is, and this will be another video that will be released this month, is um, there's a video up here to me unboxing a Karlstein um, infrared heating panel. And we've been using that, getting used to using it. So that obviously works off the electricity. Um, so we are taking away some of the heating from 
uh, our gas, so we've got a gas uh, central boiler. We have also uh, had a wood burner installed last January and we were using that mainly for heating the house. So um, we will be saving money there. It's difficult to know exactly how much we will be saving, um, but we'll try and give some sort of estimate um, in a later video. But it also means that we are pushing more of our um, electric, um, our general energy use towards the electricity side of things. Um, we are also going to be starting using a um, slow cooker for cooking as well. So on days when there's a bit less solar generation, um, so we don't spike the power and just drain the battery quickly, we're going to use um, a slow cooker through those days. And again, that's going to take away from boiling on the gas gas hub. So if you're thinking about cooking stews and stuff like that, we would normally cook that on the gas hub. So we're going to be making savings there. So this is um, being a scientist. This is an interesting experiment, and but it's also an interesting uh, lifestyle changes. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy these videos. Um, if you'd like to hit the subscribe button, please do and hit the bell notification and therefore you'll keep up to date with all my other videos. Um, if you know anybody who is in, looking at getting solar panels, I know a lot of people out there are, from the amount of comments I'm getting and questions, um, please point them into the direction of my videos and ask them to subscribe. Help me build this channel up and let's see where it all goes. Anyway, um, I'll see you again in the vid video very soon.